Hey everybody, I am 22 Tiger Dude and I am here to review the Spongebob episode Something Smells requested by the Movie Freak 226 aka Brian Mendoza check out his channel you guys I'm going to leave a link to his channel below he is such an awesome dude he does Blu-ray updates he does movie reviews he does all kinds of movie related stuff on his channel you guys please check him out and Something Smells Spongebob is on his Sunday day off so you know what that means Spongebob makes himself a Sunday because there's nothing like eating a Sunday on a Sunday day off Whew, I hope that th that didn't confuse people <laughs> but when Spongebob ate his disgusting Sunday oh that was nasty he gets horrible breath and the town couldn't breathe he actually killed some people with his breath that's all I'm going to give you about this episode. And my thoughts on Something Smells. It's a really good episode. It's a great episode. It's funny. It's just well written. It's constructed well. And it's overall a pretty damn good episode. I really do enjoy this episode. The premise of Spongebob having a bad breath was actually pretty creative. It added a lot of humor to it. Of course, you got to remember some of the most memorable, hilarious moments that's added in this episode. First of all, when Patrick tells SpongeBob that short story about the ugly barnacle, oh my gosh, that is just one of the most hilarious moments, not only in this episode, but in SpongeBob history, in my opinion. Oh my gosh. A lot of funny moments in this episode. It's really well written. It's an enjoyable to watch. There are a few issues. I did have with an issue with Spongebob having rancid breath. Like, I felt like that gets a little bit repetitive after a while, especially when it got to them being at this movie theater. Like, that, once they were at the movie theater, it seemed to take me out of the episode just a little, just because it seemed repetitive. It was a bit cruel, and Patrick, I didn't really like how he convinced Spongebob how he was ugly. I know Patrick is an idiot and all, but that kind of took me out of the episode a little as well. Plus, Spongebob eating the Sunday, although I know that starts off the plot of this episode, I just didn't quite found that to be an enjoyable scene. And also, the ending of this episode did feel rushed, and uh, while it was funny, I guess... It was a letdown in my opinion. Overall, Something Smells is a really enjoyable episode. It's funny, it's well written, it's got a pretty good premise. I would give this episode an 8.5 out of 10. Bossy Boots is about when Pearl takes over the Krusty Krab and she turns it into the Cuddly Krab so she could have this summer job. And there's a lot of changes to the Krusty Krab, which is now the Cuddly Krab. That's all I'm going to really go for you guys there. And Bossy Boots, it's an okay episode. It's not memorable, it's easily a forgettable episode, but it's not 
terrible. It's just overall an okay episode. It's really not that great. But, of course, there's positives to this episode. The positives to this episode is that there are some funny moments, especially when it gets towards the ending. Oh my gosh, what happened at the ending was just so hilarious. <laughs> with Mr. Krabs. Do I really have to spoil what happened at the ending with Mr. Krabs? That that cracks me up. That was one of the moments I can remember from this episode. There was also this episode. There was also Squidward. He had a very small role in this episode, but he was actually pretty damn funny and entertaining here. One of the major problems I did have with this episode is that at certain moments it does get boring and it takes me out of it. I really did not like Pearl in this episode. Pearl was never my favorite character to begin with. Not even uh, when Spongebob started out. So I'm not really surprised she's an issue with me. Uh, I just didn't like how she was being bossy. I don't care if she was trying to impress Mr. Krabs or any of that stuff. I just didn't like how she made all these changes to Cully Crab. And while a bit, while the few of the changes she made were damn funny, most of them, it just kind of bugged me. And then the way she treated Spongebob was just not right. I did not appreciate how she treated Spongebob here. And you just feel so bad for Spongebob. But... There are some funny moments. The last three minutes of the episode was hilarious. That's actually the most memorable part of the episode, in my opinion. There are some boring moments. There's some weak writing, but there's some really good writing here as well. And so, you know, when you mix all those things together, it's just overall not that great, but it's still watchable. It's a watchable episode is as best as I could go. Bossy Boots, some of you might love this episode and appreciate it, but to me, it's not that great. I'm going to give Bossy Boots a 6.5 out of 10. Subscribe to my channel. Comment to give me your thoughts on the Spongebob episode. Follow me on Facebook, on Twitter. Like and share this video. I will always have... TAGA POWER!